Hello, hi, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. And what we're going to talk about now is spiritual warfare. A lot of you are going through spiritual warfare right now, God says. And I don't know why people are not teaching it correctly. And I did say that correctly. It's not just about spirits, but it's also about what you have to do. Number one, are you going to the threshing floor? Are you really, you see how bad you want it? Everybody wants the anointing, but everybody don't want to do what it takes to get the anointing. And this is how you get the anointing of God so that you can fight every demonic evil. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You have to go in prayer. You have to get on that threshing floor. What is that threshing floor? You have to lay before God. And, and I don't care if you got to get up at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, whatever it takes. I know some of you are homemakers. Some of you have jobs. Some of you have children. I understand that. But you have to, how bad you want it? At the end of the day, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? You have to want it. You have to want that anointing. You have to understand that this is sacrifice. You have to pray when you don't want to pray. You have to read when you don't want to read. Hallelujah. You got to fast when you don't want to fast. You got to tell everybody else, you know, you can go to the movies. I, I got to stay here. I got to spend time with Jesus because I'm going to tell you what's happening. Society has gotten into the church to where you got more socialites than Christians. Come on, somebody. You all want to be social. Not understanding this is a spiritual war. I got to be spiritual. I can't do nothing. Come on, somebody. You can't do nothing in the flesh. And some of you, that's why you're wearing yourself out. Trying to war in the flesh. You cannot. You will wear yourself out. Can't you just read the Bible Monday, Wednesdays, and Sundays. Can't you just go to church once a week. You have to go to church every day. Oh, come on, somebody. So let, let me go ahead and clarify what I'm saying. Some of you think just because you enter in a building, you enter into, into sanctity. Let me tell you something. That's not true. The church is inside of you. You have to go to church every day, get in your word every day, pray every day, anoint yourself. Some of you are not even anointing yourself. You're not praying over yourself. You're not pleading the blood of Jesus over yourself. You wonder why you're tired, why you're weary, why you're confused. Hallelujah, what's I rebuke in the name of Jesus? This is because you're not girding yourself, warriors. This is a spiritual war. Some of y'all walking around with a, a plastic sword. You better get the real thing. Hallelujah in your name. Hallelujah to Jesus' name, for real. You, got, you better get the right, the right thing. You're not girding yourself up, God says. You're not girding. And let me tell you something. You cannot depend upon the leaders these days. Because the leaders, some of them are doing their own thing, their own way. They're trying to get famous. Oh, uh, come on, somebody. They're all about numbers these days. Well, numbers don't mean nothing. When you have a spiritual walk at 2 o'clock in the morning and ain't nobody there to be found, what you going to do? Them demons are here. And they ain't going nowhere. Prophecy must be fulfilled. And they're getting thicker. Come on, somebody. More appearances than you've ever seen. Y'all think you, what people are just crazy all of a sudden? They're killing people all of a sudden? Those are spirits. Those are demonic forces overtaking people instead of you overtaking them. Y'all better start fighting for y'all families. Y'all better start fighting for, for everything. Because it's a fight. It's a war. They don't want you to understand it's a spiritual war. That's why they have the illusion of everything is fine in life. Go to work. Go to school. Date. Go to the movies. Go to dinner. While people are dying spiritually. The enemy has food the church into thinking it's, it's, most, it's more about social and being in, in this type of class. And, and I'm, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. I'm sorry. I see a lot of people that have this, 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 and ain't got no power. You can preach, you can teach, but you can't heal and destroy nothing of the enemy. No works of the enemy. And you got the nerve to say that you are blessed. Where? Because anybody can have stuff. Give me the holy anointing any day. Give me power to destroy every yoke, every burden. Hallelujah. Give me that power. What am I saying? I'd rather be like Jesus. Come on, somebody. And y'all quit saying people hating. Who? Uh, hating on what? Because you got a car? Because you got a house? Because you got money? Jesus, I'm sorry. The example that Jesus left with us was one of power. As a matter of fact, he said the, the, the son of man have no way to lay his head. So I don't know what this new anarchy of church people are feeding the people. But y'all need to be telling them the truth about spiritual power. Spiritual authority. Watching their words, what they're speaking into their lives and others. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah to his name. It's time. It's time to get back. Take back everything.
everything the enemy stole. Your family, your finances, your mind. Hallelujah. Your soul. In Jesus' name. 